Uh, so good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll start in just a moment or two, if uh, members of the committee could take a seat. On va commencer dans quelques minutes. Well, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, uh, and welcome to uh, the nominating committee. This is, uh, I think, the only committee that meets once in four years and will never meet again, uh, so uh, enjoy it while you can. Um, any, any declarations of interest, déclaration d'intérêt? No, Office of the City Clerk, Bureau du Greffier Municipal et l'Avocat Général, Legislative Services. Um, we have uh, five motions, and I have some opening comments. I should have mentioned that Joanne Chianello loves this kind of a meeting, so I'm sorry we only have it once a year for uh, someone who was... It, it's, it's our Christmas gift to you. Joanne uh, Noël. Good morning, everyone. Bon matin à tous. Uh, today I'm pleased to introduce the members of council who are being recommended to play key leadership roles and to serve on committees, boards, and agencies over the course of this mandate. I'm very proud to recommend a strong and balanced mix of newly elected and returning members of council. Cette proposition comprend de nouveaux conseillers avec de nouvelles idées et des candidats d'expérience qui connaissent bien l'hôtel de ville ici à Ottawa. I believe that the group being nominated represents the right mix of new talent, fresh ideas, commitment and experience. Further, we are balancing, whenever possible, each member's interest to serve in a specific area, in addition to gender, geography, and language ability. I'd like to highlight some of the recommendations in the report. One, Councillor Jenna Suds, Canada North, to serve as Chair of the Community and Protective Services Committee. Councillor Steve Blay, Cumberland, to serve as Chair of Transportation Committee. Le Conseiller Jean Cloutier, Alta Vista, comme Président du Comité de Vérification, as Chair of the Audit Committee. Councillor Jan Harder, Barhaven, to serve as Chair of Planning. Councillor Eli El Shantiri, West Carlton March, to serve as Chair of ARAC. Councillor Scott Moffat, Rito Goulburn, to serve as Chair of Environment and Climate Protection Committee. Councillor Alan Hubley, Canada South, to serve as Chair of the Transit Commission. Councillor Glenn Gower, Stittsville, to serve as Chair of the Built Heritage Committee. Je suis aussi fier de nomination suivante au poste de maire suppléante. Councillor George DeRue's Osgood, Councillor Laura Dudas in this ward, and Councillor Matt Luloff in Orleans. The report also recommends that Councillor Diane Deans, Gloucester Southgate, serve as chair of the Ottawa Police Services Board, the first woman to serve in this capacity in post-amalgamated Ottawa. Councillor Deans will also be the chair of Crime Prevention Ottawa to ensure open lines of communication and cooperation between OPS and CPO. Other firsts include the nomination of Councillor Teresa Cavanaugh as Council Liaison for Women and Gender Equity. Other leadership roles include Councillor Catherine McKenney, Somerset Ward, to serve as Liaison on Housing and Homelessness, Councillor Keith Angley, Knoxdale Maryvale, to chair the Ottawa Board of Health, Le Conseiller Mathieu Fleury, Rideau Vanier, comme Président de Logement Communautaire d'Ottawa et aussi comme Commissaire au Sport. Councillor Jeff Leeper, Kitchissippi, to serve as Chair of the Information Technology Committee. I'm also pleased to extend the nominations of Riley Brockington, River Ward, to the Association of Municipalities of Ontario, Tim Tierney, Beacon Hill Searville, to the FCM, as well as Chair of the Ottawa Public Library, and Vice Chair of Planning and FEDCO. Councillor Rick Shirelli, College Ward, is nominated to continue his, leaders his leadership at Information Technology Subcommittee as Vice Chair. Councillor Sean Menard, Capital Ward, will serve as Vice Chair of the Environment and Com Climate Protection Committee. Councillor Carol Ann Means, Gloucester South Nepean, is nominated to serve as the Vice Chair of Audit Committee. 
and Councillor Toby Nussbaum, Reno Rockcliffe, has been nominated to serve as the Ottawa representative on the Canadian Capital Cities Organization, as well as the chair of the Ottawa uh, Community Lands Development Corporation. I want to thank uh, the team at the clerk's office and my office for their hard work and efforts uh, throughout the governance exercise that led to today's meeting. Tomorrow, City Council will receive this committee's report, and I urge members of the nominating committee to recommend this very balanced approach to Council. We can then get on with the important work our residents expect us to undertake during this term. Je demande à tous les membres du comité de, uh, des candidatures de recommander cette proposition équilibrée au Conseil municipal demain. And as I mentioned, uh, there were um, a lot of great feedback from members of council in terms of what role they wanted to play. And uh, the majority of the times we were able to accommodate uh, uh, everyone's first or second choice, but in some instances that was just not uh, possible. It's because of a bit of a Rubik's Cube uh, uh, that we want to include gender, geography, and so on. <clears throat> so I look forward to comments and questions today and uh, the report with the recommendations, uh, the five recommendations is before us. So the process will be, we'll deal with uh, uh, one item at a time, uh, vote on them, and go through uh, all five uh, recommendations that members of council have agreed to, to move. So item number one, <coughs> excuse me, is the appointments of sports commissioner and council liaisons, and this is Councilor Dudas, if you'd like to read the motion, please. Certainly, Mr. Mayor. Uh, where is the governance report considered by council at its meeting of December 5th, 2018, recommended that the mayor be tasked with recommending the appointment of three deputy mayors and the appointment of a council liaison for housing and homelessness, council liaison for women and gender equity, and the city of Ottawa's sports commissioner as part of the nominating committee process. Therefore, it be resolved that the nominating committee recommend council appoint the following members of council as deputy mayors, Councillor Matthew Luloff, Councillor Laura Dudas and Councillor George DeRuz. Councillor Catherine McKenney as the City of Ottawa's Council Liaison for Housing and Homelessness. Councillor Teresa Cavanaugh as the City of Ottawa's Council Liaison for Women and Gender Equity. And Councillor Mathieu Fleury as the City of Ottawa's Sports Commissioner. Good. Okay, any uh, questions or comments? Councillor Cavanaugh? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, uh, I just want to say that uh, I, the, I'm new to the process, and um, I want to thank you for the the appointment you've uh, you put, you've uh, suggested for me. But I, I just found it a little strange for me because coming from a different culture, that um, as a member of the nominating committee, that um, I'm not part of the selection, I'm not part of the decision making. Um, I guess it's a bit of a misnomer. I'm just approving what you've uh, put forward uh, somewhere else, and uh, I don't see it till now. Um, I'm just, just saying that because uh, uh, I find it um, a very different process, uh, one where it's not, uh, you know, clear, you know, where it's done in a different room, and then it comes here at the very last minute, and I'm, you know, I'm asked to approve something. Uh, I'm not having any particular concerns in one or the other, it's more the process. And I just wanted to state that because I find it a very, um, you know, I think it would be better if we had a little more input from, from councillors in terms of selection overall. Though um, it's, you know, so I just wanted to put that out there. Thank you. Yeah, just, just to be clear, this is the decision making body. So if you're not happy with the recommendation, you're certainly uh, fine to vote against it. But when you said there's no decision making, this is actually the, the whole setup is, is geared towards getting a, a package of recommendations based on the surveys that all members of council um, sent in uh, last Friday. So thank you for your, uh, your perspective. So on item number one, Kerry, okay. Councillor Dudas's motion. Uh, next uh, is motion uh, moved by myself. Whereas the nominating committee has received and reviewed the results of the councillor's response to the nominating committee survey circulated to members of council on December 5th, whereas the nominating committee has considered members' preferences and kept in mind the need to ensure citywide balance and perspective on the various standing committees, transit commission, and subcommittees, and whereas the nominating committee has also considered as much as possible each councillor's previous service experience in areas of interest. Therefore, be it resolved that the nominating committee recommend council appoint the following members of council to the various standing committees, transit commission, and subcommittees, including the recommended chair and vice chair as follows. And then you have the list. Um, I don't think I have to read everyone's name. You, you have it all in front of you. So there's uh, ARAC, Audit, CPS, Environment, 
uh, FEDCO planning, transit, transportation, information technology, built heritage, committee of revision. So, uh, Councillor El Shantiri. So just for clarity for the people who's listening to us, if there is anyone listening to us, the Finance and Economic Development Committee, we have Councillor Tim Turney as a member at large, and Councillor Turney will be the vice chair, and that committee includes all the committee chairs and the deputy mayors. Is that's that correct. correct? Thank yes, you. Yes, that's right. So uh, my motion before you. Okay. Carried. Uh, the next item. Who's on the Committee of Revision? Oh, there you go, Eli. Congratulations. <laughs> or condolences. <laughs> you, want to, you want to switch, Jan? <laughs> uh, Councillor Harder has the next motion, appointments to boards 2018-2022. Uh, Thank you. Whereas the nominating committee has received and reviewed the results of Councillor's responses to the nominating committee survey circulated to members of Council on December 5th, 2018, and whereas the nominating committee has considered members' preferences and has kept in mind the need to ensure a citywide balance and perspective on the various standing committees slash transit commission and subcommittees, and whereas the nominating committee has also considered as much as possible each councillor's previous service, experience, and areas of interest. <coughs> Therefore, be it resolved that the nominating committee recommend council appoint the following members of council to the various boards. Ottawa Police Services Board, Councillor Diane Deans for the mayor, and that council recommend to the Ottawa Police Services Board that Councillor Deans be nominated to be chair of the board. Councillor Keith Eglai and Councillor Carolyn Meehan. Ottawa Public Library Board, Councillor Tim Tierney, and that Council recommend to the Ottawa Public Library Board that Councillor Tierney be nominated to be Chair of the Board, Councillor Matt Matthew Luloff, Councillor Riley Brockington, and Councillor Carol Ann Meehan. Ottawa Board of Health, Councillor Keith Eglai, and that Council recommend to the Ottawa Board of Health that Councillor Eglai be nominated to be the Chair of the Board of Health. Um, he would be joined by Councillor El Eli Elshantiri, Councillor Glenn Gower, Councillor Sean Menard, Councillor Jean Cloutier, and Councillor Teresa Cavanaugh. Hydro Ottawa Holding Inc., Councillor Jan Harder for the Mayor, and Councillor Stephen Blake. Ottawa Community Housing Corporation, in addition to the Mayor, Councillor Matt Fleury, Matthew Fleury, and the Council recommend to the Ottawa Community Housing Corporation Board that Councillor Fleury be nominated to be Chair of the Board. As well as on, serving on the Board would be Councillor Teresa Cavanaugh, Councillor Catherine McKinney, and Councillor Scott Moffat. Ottawa Community Lands Development Corporation. In addition to the Mayor, Councillor Toby Nussbaum, Councillor Laura Dudas, and me, Councillor Jan Harder. It's a surprise. County of Crime Prevention Ottawa. Councillor Diane Deans for the Mayor, and that council recommend that Councillor Deans be nominated to be chair of the board and Councillor Riley Brockington. City of Ottawa Superannuation Fund, Councillor Laura Dudas, Councillor Jan Harder, and Councillor Jean Cloutier. Mississippi Valley Conservation Authority, Councillor Glenn Gower, and Councillor Eli Elshantiri. Rideau Valley Conservation Authority, Councillor George DeRuz, and Councillor Scott Moffat. South Nation Conservation Authority, Councillor Stephen Bray, and Councillor George DeRuz. Ottawa Film Office, Councillor Jean Cloutier for the Mayor. Shaw Board of Shaw Centre Board of Directors, Councillor Jenna Suds for the Mayor. Okay, thank you, Councillor Harder. Uh, questions and comments on Councillor Harder's motion? Okay, uh, on the motion is presented. Okay. okay. Uh, the next is appointment to external agencies, 2018-2022 term of council, uh, pour la période 2018 jusqu'à 2022, pour cette période du conseil, conseiller Blais, s'il vous plaît. Uh, merci, Monsieur le Maire. Uh, whereas the nominating committee has received and reviewed the results of the councillors' responses to the nominating committee <coughs> survey circulated to members of council on December 5, and whereas the nominating committee has considered members' preferences and has kept in mind the need to ensure citywide balance and perspective on the various standing committees, transit commission, and subcommittees, and whereas the nominating committee has also considered as much as possible each councillor's previous service experience and areas of interest, therefore be it resolved that nominating committee recommend council appoint the following members to council. Uh, members of council as the Ottawa City Council representatives to the various municipal organizations. Uh, one, the Association of Municipalities of Ontario, Councillor Riley Brockington. 
to l'Association de la uh, Municipalité Francophone d'Ontario, Conseil Jean Cloutier, uh, the Canadian Capital Cities Organization, Councillor Toby Nussbaum, uh, for the Federation of Canadian Municipalities, Councillor Tim Tierney, and the Rural Ontario Municipal Association, Councillor Eli El Shantiri. Councillor Blaise, motion, uh, any questions or comments? Thank you, Councillor, for serving on Roma. <laughs> All roads lead to Roma. Uh, on the motion, carried, and update. Uh, the next motion is uh, appointment of selection panels for boards, advisory committees, and the Committee of Adjustment 2018 to 2022 term of council. Uh, Councillor El Shantiri, please. <coughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, whereas the nominating committee has received and reviewed the result of councillor's responses to the nominating committee survey circulated to members of council on December 5, 2018, and whereas the nominating committee has considered members' preferences and has kept in mind the need to ensure the citywide balance of perspective on a very standing committee, transit commission, and subcommittee, and whereas the nominating committee has also considered as much as possible each councillor's previous service experience and area of interest. Therefore, be resolved the nominating committee recommend council appoint to the following member of council to the various selection panels for board, advisor committee, and committee of adjustment, in addition to the mayor as an ex-officio member of all selection panel. One, transit commissioner, councillor Laura Rudas, councillor Jean Cloutier, and councillor uh, Jeanne Sudds, uh, Built Heritage Subcommittee for uh, Reserves Members, Councillor Langauer and Councillor Scott Moffat. Accessibility Advisory Committee, uh, Laura Dudas and uh, myself, Eli Alchantier. Uh, Culture and uh, Recreation Advisory Committee, Councillor uh, Matthew Luloff and Councillor Matthew Fleury. Environment Stewardship <coughs> Advisory Committee, Councillor Keith Egloy, Councillor Scott Moffat. French Language Service Advisory Committee, Councillor Mathieu Rulov and uh, Conseiller Jean Cloutier. Planning Advisory Committee, Councillor Jan Harder, Eloy Alchantiri, and Councillor Glenn Gower. Mississippi Valley Conservation Authority, Councillor Alchantiri, and Councillor Glenn Gower. Rideau Valley Conservation Authority, Councillor George DeRuz, and Councillor Scott Moffat. South Nation Conservation Authority, Councillor Stephen Blay and Councillor George DeRuz. Ottawa Police Service Board, Councillor Eli Alshantiri and Councillor Caroline Meehan. Ottawa Public Library Board, Councillor Tim Turney and Councillor Jean Cloutsi. Ottawa Board of Health, Councillor Keith Egloy and Councillor Caroline Meehan. Uh, Committee of Adjustment, Councillor Sean Menard, Councillor Scott Moffat and Councillor Alan Hubley. Mort, Mort Landon, Cuyon Port Authority, uh, Councillor Al Shantiri and Glenn Gower. Uh, Shaw Center, Councillor Jana Suds and Councillor Jean Crusier. Property Standard and License Appeal Committee, <coughs> Councillor Matthew Luloff and Councillor Keith Egloy. Ottawa Community Land Development Corporation, Councillor Dudas and Councillor Richard so just for a clarification on the Build Heritage Subcommittee, it shouldn't say for reserve members, it's for all members. Okay. Uh, so we can strike that off, uh, uh, Mr. Clerk. And Councillor Harder had a question. I have a question uh, with regard to, similar to uh, what you just said, Planning Advisory Committee, um, at the, through the governance process, we decided that we approved that we were going to sustain it. So would this be just to identify reserve uh, members? Yeah, maybe Caitlin, can you? Because I know we did deal with that at um, governance, at the governance uh, last said we were week. Going to sustain the existing yeah, because they just got appointed, basically. Yeah. Uh, Caitlin, is that the case? Yes, Mr. Premier, that's correct. This would be for reserve members for any vacancies during the term. Yeah, okay, and I think uh, also each uh, of these selection committees will be asked to, I think, get a, a longer list of reserve members because in the past, uh, you know, people move or they don't. Uh, necessarily like the committee work that they're doing uh, or something's changed in their own professional personal lives so I think we need to develop a more of a uh, bench strength in the reserve list so as well. I have another question yes go ahead um, because we've just uh, we council hasn't but uh, we've just approved the um, chairs of the various uh, boards and committees um, I would think that the chair of, of the matching board would also serve as a uh, on the selection panel 
Well, if you'd like to move that as a motion, then certainly we can accommodate that because... Um, I think that's the way it was the I last maybe time. We'll, why don't we just say that they're ex officio? Sure. Because you may not want to go to every exactly. selection. So maybe we can just put that in the report. Or, you know, if you want to move that, that um, the chairs of the appropriate committee that um, have these advisory or other committees report to them be ex officio. Sure, I will move that. Does that make sense from the clerk's office? Well, just looking at this, the only one that I see that uh, the Ottawa Police Services Board doesn't have on the selection committee, I and Dean, so if it goes through council, will be the chair of police yeah. services. Yeah, so I think we can do that as, as ex officio. Okay. That's, uh, uh, who moved, was that you, you know, that just moved this? Yeah. So that's yeah. friendly yeah. amendment? Friendly amendment. So friendly, is that that? Do my lawyers have any problems? No, okay. Okay, so uh, on Councillor Elshantiri's appointment, or uh, uh, recommendation, please. Carried. Yeah, carried. Uh, are there any in-camera items that we're aware of? Other business? Uh, so, motion to adjourn. So carried. Thank you all. Again, I want to thank the clerk's office. They've been very helpful in compiling all the information. As you know, we just brought every member of Council's um, uh, preferred uh, choices on Friday afternoon and uh, a lot of people worked on the weekend to get us to this point. So meeting adjourned. Thank you. Merci.